Good morning, class. Good morning, Ethan. Morning meeting makes me feel welcome. It wakes me up. We get to learn what people like and what they don't like and ha what they aren't comfortable with. If I would make any um, dinner for my family, I would make pasta. Morning meetings just help me get to know the other people in my class. Good morning, Ronnie. I like that I can get away from my desk and stand up. It makes me feel better because it has, um, it has encouragement in it. Let's try to make sure everybody who's playing is having fun. One of my questions yesterday for the kids is what if we didn't start our day with a morning meeting? Good morning. And none of us could even fathom how we would get through the rest of the day if we didn't take the time to come together. Yeah! Like if there's a new student, we could grow together, like grow, and we could get to know each other. We put the learning in the hands of children. We put the learning in the hands of our teachers and it becomes a partnership. We um, work together on social skills, academic skills, and emotional skills. That's a nice way to take care of each other. Kids learn that their voice is important. Good morning, class. So it's not just my voice that they're hearing all day, but they get to hear each other's ideas and they get to share things together. Once you kind of get to know your students, you get to what they need, it's much easier to tackle any of the problems that come. I kind of felt that in my heart too. It helps me read more read better because we do it every single day and it just helps you get the hang of reading for the day. For our activity we're going to do down on 21. I noticed that because of the work we're doing in the morning and we coming together and having those conversations and trying things that might be um, difficult or something they're not comfortable with gives them the opportunity to think about that experience when we're doing academic tasks and then they're more willing to take those risks when we're we're tackling something difficult in math. Andre's the last one standing. All right, let's give him a round of applause. I think that responsive classroom was critical in helping us to make that transition from in-person learning to fully remote learning to now this year even in a hybrid approach. So much was scary for us when we came back in September and so much was new and so much was uncomfortable that this is a place to kind of build comfort back in. It was a way to connect classrooms that might be in two different parts of the building. So it was a reminder to them that we're still one class. I can't say enough about the work that my students and our teachers here at Birchwood and across the district, honestly, have been doing with this approach. It is just amazing. I'm so proud of everybody and it's so much fun. We're really in that sweet spot right now where the kids have gotten to know me, I've gotten to know them. Like I know who's playing baseball, who's playing soccer. I couldn't imagine it not being in my day to day.